Hey guys, welcome back to Dwarru 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to run Evil West on a low-end PC. As you can see right off the bat, we're running on an i7-4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory. Now we are running with a more decent CPU so that it's mainly a GPU bottleneck issue. Because if it's a CPU bottleneck, you're in tough luck already as it is because there's not much to do when it's a CPU bottleneck. GPU, we have a lot of breathing room. So here we are going to start off the game. As you can see, I am running so far at... 720p on the lowest p set i'm not even actually running at 720p i'm running at 50 percent resolution scaling on low and as you can see the game isn't performing very well we're hitting about 17 fps some areas are hitting higher but it's not doing very much so i'm going to show you some nah, tips and tricks to going to the config file to tweak them to get the game running on a lower end hardware yeah that's not great 14 fps I mean, is that playable for you guys? I mean, sure, why not, right? But you can do so much more. So let's go into the config file real quick and let's see if we can get some more frames. I'll be back. All right, so we just made it out of Evil West. We're just gonna go and look for the config file now, which is always in the same place, really. This is an Unreal Engine 4 game, which gives you a lot to tweak. We're gonna go into our local disk C, whatever you have it called here, users whatever your name is you have for your computer app data we're going to go into local and scroll all the way down to high moon we're simply going to click on saved the config file and windows no editor now here is where the magic happens as you see the game user settings everything is here we got resolution up to 50 percent everything is off so it's basically at zero we're not actually going to trouble anything here because we're already using 50% of 720p, which is 640 by 360. We're not actually going to move anything here at this point in time. We're going to back out. We're going to go into the engine folder now. We're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to paste in these notes. Oh, don't worry, I will leave the config file in the description down below. But I'm just letting you know what some of them do in case you don't need to use everything. Basically, this disables all most shadows in the game. Or makes them very small or blocky that they have to follow you to actually work. We're going to disable motion blur as well as ambient occlusion. Everything, depth to fill, all of it. We disable basically almost everything in the game. The bloom quality, the tone shift, everything. The game is going to look very weird. But hey, if the resolution is still at the 640 by 360, it's going to look somewhat decent. Let's go back and launch in. This is if you're running on an Intel HD 4600. If you're running with something higher, I recommend only disabling the shadows, if anything. And then we're going to go back and see what can... So we made it back. And as already, already, as you can see, massive FPS increase here. I believe at some parts around here, we were getting 20 FPS, maybe up. And it was dropping down to 14. Here we are even at, even at certain points, we're hitting 30 FPS. Is that a horse? What is that thing? Where are the eyes? I don't even know anymore. So the performance has gone up quite a bit and this is without using the resolution scaling. Now this area is quite demanding because it's a very overview of everything that's going on. Like look at that. You Let's give it a try. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving. You smell that? Shit. There's gonna be
Alright, so we find ourselves back into the config file once again. We're simply going to go into game user settings this time. And we're going to change the resolution quality down to 30%. So now the game will actually play off lower than 640 by 360. And we'll see how that performs. Honestly, I think that 30 won't even be enough, so we'll do 25%. Uh, I feel like it still look decent enough, but I wouldn't recommend going any lower than this. So 25% of 720p, let's see how that looks and hopefully that is enough. And here we are, finally. So 25% 720p, we seem to be hitting over 30 more consistently here. Game still looks somewhat, I can still see what the heck is going on. Like I said, in nah, this area here, this is an... Hey, he said that's not that bad either. I agree with you, guy. I don't know the name because I haven't really played this game. This is far more playable now. We're only using 5.8 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously, because I've dropped down a lot of stuff, we're going to be using a lot less RAM as well. But yeah, for the most part, we are going to hit 30 FPS now because of this. And you can still see what's going on for the most part. Like Let's I said, that's why I did it in increments like this, so we don't actually go this far. But what we're going to do here is actually cap the game to 30 FPS, because that's what we're aiming for. We're going to put a lot less work on the GPU if we cap it to 30 now, because that's the main most that we can achieve. And we're going to go here and see what happens. I do not recommend 20%. That seems a bit too overkill, but you know, like 25 is stretching it already. But in case you didn't want to play this game, hey, it runs. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. This is how you get games running on low-end hardware, guys. You gotta push the envelope sometimes to get these games playable. At least when it shows up like that or it still shows you stuff. And we are managing to maintain over 20 FPS for the most part. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Evil West. It runs. A lot of it's hitting 30 as well.